Splitting Hairs Free Salon Education Podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. Today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to Splitting Hairs, the hairdressers podcast powered by MinervaBeauty.com. It's uh, Black Friday weekend, and I actually wanted to show off. Chris, can you pull up the computer screen uh, one? And let me show Minerva Beauty. We're just going to freestyle this because, you know, that's what we try to do kind of every week. Um, they are having their Black Friday sale right now. So 20% off site-wide, uh, extra 5% off orders of 1500 or more, um, and then 70% off select items. So you can go shop that or... You could use the code, if this is later on in life, you can use the code FSE24, uh, right? Yeah, FSE24 for 10% off Minerva brand items. Um, they are they partner with us for a long time. Uh, our whole salon is furnished with Minerva furnishings, so chairs, mirrors, shampoo systems, uh, hot towel warmer, towels, um, barber chairs. What else do we have? Color carts. Yep. Yeah. Barbicide jars. Did you say mirrors? <laughs> Nobody can see you. I know. You can, though. It's funny. Oh, yeah, it is funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, so make sure you check out MinervaBeauty.com for their Black Friday sales this week. Everybody's doing Black Friday sales. We started ours on Monday um, just because it gets earlier and earlier every year. You I don't mean, have to do that. You why is it even Black it. Friday anymore? Why do, well, you, cho- you choose to do it. Why? Why do you choose to do it? Why did you choose to I, do I, it? I don't know. Actually, <laughs> I don't know. I, I this is the first time that I didn't go like live with it at midnight on Wednesday night or no Thursday night. Um, but I did. I don't it know. didn't feel as special. It I, didn't. Yeah. It really didn't. <laughs> it I feel didn't. like Prime Day is killing Black Friday. I think so too. Amazon's killing yeah, everything. Like I feel like we have what now? Two of those year Prime Days or Prime? I feel like it's yeah. always coming up. Yeah, like, like there's one in October that had just passed. Okay. There was one in July. Yeah, so there's, I think, because two. I bought, um, I remember, I don't ever yeah. buy things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you buy? <laughs> Air purifiers. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are good, though. Yeah, they're good. They did a good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, our air is pure. Um, So, yeah, so we're, we have Black Friday as well. 50% off all scissors um, on the store. Also, the Evo Razor, the Tri Razor, and the online course uh, for our digital haircutting system. So, if you've been thinking about purchasing any FSE scissors, um, this is the time because literally, like this scissor right here is ninety nine bucks right now. So, uh, and this one is I think one eighty something like that. So, um, so go check it out. I'm, I'm going to talk about that scissor in a little bit because I did have a question about dry cutting scissors. So, I'll talk about that at the end. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Um, subscribe to us on Spotify, Apple uh, Podcasts as well. Um, but hit the notification bell because we go live and we do the show and we like to interact with you guys. So if you have uh, the opportunity to hit the notification bell, you'll get an alert when we go live sometime between 10 and 11 every Tuesday. Um, I got Brian Hare here. Hi. Good morning. Uh, Carly. Hi. Christina. Hola. And uh, so, yeah. So that's pretty much all that's new with that. Um, I do. Uh, we're kind of in the mix of busy time. So how's that been feeling for everyone? I feel like it's <clears throat> like, it's been busy because there are some holidays coming, but I'm already like sweating looking at those couple weeks I have. Like coming. once Thanksgiving hits, it's just like balls to the wall till New Year's. Yeah. So it's like, all right, I don't mind if a couple people cancel, but. We got plenty to do for the next few weeks. <laughs> yeah, I remember you said that. Was that the other day? You had a yeah. book. You were like, if somebody canceled, I would not be upset. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, so yeah. So, preparing for that. Um, the Hopefully, uh, and you're going away too, right? So yeah. You, so you That's basically, part of the reason why yeah. it gets so crazy because yeah. I'll be gone for almost two weeks. So, like. You've been doing that for a couple of years. Yeah. So, I think. I mean, it's always a crazy time. Mm-hmm. Like, but you add the holidays on top of me going away and it's just like. Yeah, I'll fit you in 15 minute slot for your 60 minute haircut. That's mm-hmm. fine. I'll just sort that out that day. Yeah. It probably feels, I don't know about you, like 
really rewarding though when you get on vacation when you're oh, so busy 100%. before it's and you feel like you're through, like, checking all your boxes and you're cleaning then like you clean up your house and like you know like in, i don't know probably feels really good i haven't been on a vacation yeah. in a while but that probably feels good yeah like that <laughs> kind of vacation yeah. yeah yeah like i like that like that oh yeah it definitely you know? helps like push through knowing what's on the other side of it mm -hmm. so. yeah for sure um so i want to talk about the future of uh of the industry a little bit. I saw a post on Instagram, uh, if you want to pull up my computer, and I thought it was interesting. I don't, so Learn to Cut, this is a um, a page that I found a little bit interesting lately. Like I've never seen them before. I'm sure a lot of people follow them. I mean, 75,000 people follow them, but um, they have, they just post some interesting facts or thoughts, but this one was, uh, what will barbershops look like in 2050? And I love when posts get a lot of attention because it brings out a lot of negativity. I don't love that part of it, but I but what I love is like I don't love it. Let me change my wording. I I don't understand why people see something that could be so far out there, but um, just automatically go negative with it about the industry. And to me, I look at these things like the first one. Let's see, let me click through here. AI consultations. Before you cut, an AI scans your face, analyzes your hair type, and gives you personalized style recommendations. No guesswork, just perfection. Now, we all know AI and what it looks like right now when we talk to ChatGPT, <laughs> most of us. Um, and we know it's absolutely ridiculous, most of the things that it comes up with. So this is definitely far into the future. A what little are bit. the video? not to change the subject, what are yeah. the videos that Hayden shows me that are ridiculous? Like, what oh, is that, that called? That, like, morph, <laughs> like, AI morphs a bunch of oh, yeah. random oh. things. Yeah. The Mike Tyson ones, <laughs> hilarious. And then he's been sending me um, Ronaldo and Messi. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's fun. So, I think, I mean, I think it's going to be a cool idea. Like, I've already, you know, there's been thoughts of, like, a mirror that is in the salon that... Um, can basically change your hair color when you're looking into it. Um, you know, these these kind of thoughts. And I think that those are are real realities. The biggest challenge with our industry, I think, is that getting somebody to actually invest in that because who it's such a niche thing. But um and it's an expensive technology and it's only gonna go in, you know, so many salons are even gonna be able to afford that kind of technology. But um this, when you look at it, this could be scanned with your phone, it could be scanned, uh, it could be just an easy camera device and a TV. Like this, this makes it a little bit more real to be able to do a scan of a client and come up with options for that client. So for me, do I think it's gonna happen super quickly? I, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna be right away, but I think it's getting closer to being able to just show your client things that are possible with their hair without actually doing it first, which I think would s solve some issues with clients feeling like, like imagine a client comes in, they want to cut a pixie cut on their hair and you can show them what that looks like. And they look at it and they're like, Oh yeah, I don't want that. Um, I think that that would be, that's kind of a cool idea. Uh, what do you guys think? I think the key word is possible. Like what is possible to do with your hair? Like I think if it's yeah, like, if the AI is going to show my like jet black hair client what they would look like with white bleach blonde hair and we don't have the advancements like with the product and to get like, it there to get it there, then yeah. that's one thing. But like if they're going to show you what is possible, then I think that's kind of cool. I think you're right. Yeah. Like if it's showing them something that's impossible, yeah. that would be or or is is kind of out of the box too much. Yeah. Well, I think that's uh, yeah. kind of where it opens up the R part of it. Like, you have jet black hair, you want this bleach blonde, this is what you look like. Then the next step is like, and we can get there in 14 months. Like, do you, yeah. do, I do think, do you I think better, it's worth the journey? I think it's worth the, this is what it will look like picture. Like, yeah. Like Do you understand what I mean? Like, yeah. 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 Like, but I want the AI to tell my client that then because they're not going to listen to me. That's if what it, the yeah. AI is. Telling Here's what them I would that. say to that, yeah. Carly, is mm -hmm. that because I have been working in learning kind of what this AI bot, like technology, being able to feed it certain things. Like, you can feed it 
the outcomes. Like you can teach it to say, well, if you have black hair and you want to go white blonde, the process is actually for visits, you know, yeah. like, and, and it could cause this kind of damage. Like you can teach it those things. So, so there is the possibility that it would give it more of a breakdown of, of the process rather than just saying you could look like this, yeah. you know? <laughs> I think that's the problem yeah. with anything tech. Like there's so many steps and then somebody uses it and they're like, Oh, we need to tweak it. Oh, we need to tweak it. But people care about their hair a lot that go out to like people that come to this salon yeah. care about their hair. They yeah. spend a decent amount of money and experience. They have good stylists, you know, they don't want to be tested on that. <laughs> I would, I wouldn't want to be. Um, because a mess up chemically to then fix it, your hair doesn't co sometimes come back from that, depending on what your hair type is. So I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm, I don't know. Like that's kind of like. Do we feel like this is something that we would use? Like those of you guys that are listening to the podcast, it's basically somebody sitting in the chair, a client, and then it looks like there's some kind of AI scan up into a, a virtual screen, like, like an Apple, um, uh, no, it's like an augmented reality screen. It's not even a, a TV or anything. Uh, and it's put up there and they're kind of going through certain things. So do we find that this is something that we'd be excited to use or is it getting our way as a stylist and take up just more time? I think for haircuts, it's great though because, you know, for a lot of those people who are maybe going through some stuff in their life and they're like, I want to chop my hair off. Yeah. But like, do you really? Like, <laughs> here's what you can look yeah. like. Hey, like here, come over to this do you really big monitor. Therapy or... like, here's a picture of it. There, you got it out of your system. Yeah. Now let's just do the regular. Yeah, and if you could live with it, like if we could put them in a virtual world for like a couple yeah. days and they could live with it. <laughs> Wait, I want to be, I want to help make it because I want it to, I want it to actually count down. Like you have this much time to make this decision about this pixie cut on your face. <laughs> and make it more like a show, you know? Like, it's like, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, that and would they're be just fun. like, oh. It sounds like an episode of Black Mirror. <laughs> yeah. Let's get the AI where if somebody wants bangs, now they have to like do them every morning. I yes. want a video game where yeah. it's like, there's That's people running around and be. you still want to style bangs. Yeah. And, yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the next one is robotic precision. Robotic tools equipped with sensors can help barbers with flawless precision. It will make sure every barber can deliver 10 times better haircuts. So I don't get this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is where it started to lose me. I was like, everything up until here, I could see actually yeah. happening and yeah. being beneficial in a salon. But now, ugh. I'm not saying that a robot can't eventually do with certain types of haircuts. Um, only because, but they're not going to be, I can't see them being good. Yeah. I like if that like, ever becomes a thing, <laughs> I see that as being so far beyond yeah. anything we'll ever see. Yeah. Like our planet will crumble before we get to the point where robots have perfect fingers for sectioning but, and stuff. But what if the trend is that we do look like those mojis walking around? It won't matter. Fair. People won't care. Well, what I'm that's what I'm so, saying. So what I think, I don't, like, yeah, what, what will happen first is <laughs> the we, trend would hair have won't to get matter. Like we'll we'll have virtual hair, like augmented reality hair. Everybody will be wearing some sort of glasses, and they will be having fake. no. Or the cut will come first, like a certain type of cut before we are even augmented hair. Like the style will be that a style. robotic haircut. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it could be the if, flow if you be think. cut. Yeah. I don't know why, or, but like in my mind right now, I'm picturing Marty from Giant that walks around like the little robot in the Giant. Okay. Like, oh, oh. I'm picturing that okay. as like the what I'm those picturing. Are. Um, I don't know why. Oh shit! I can't think of it. Hold on, I'm gonna think of it, who I'm. <laughs> I, just, I right. can't think of it. But you guys keep. Saying. I mean, it isn't crazy though to think that a robot. I mean, they're doing surgeries, so. I mean, I, fair. Yeah. I mean, but it's not that it can't do it. It's what actually is going to be what people want. Yeah. You know, like the precision of a robot makes sense, but a very precisioned haircut yeah. on people don't, doesn't make sense. Well, and you also have to, you if know? they do a surgery, they're putting screws in your head to hold your head still. And like, there's a lot of, you know they're what I mean? Screws in your head. Well, like they, you know how they like, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't Jesus. know. 
<laughs> so it's like Frankenstein. I, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like, like Frankenstein. Okay, um, uh, doctor. <laughs> no, I, I don't know of that. <laughs> Spending they way have too to many too still. many minutes with doctors. Oh, geez. All right. Anyways, moving on. Smart tools, clippers track hair density and adjust speed automatically. Scissors powered by nanotech give seamless, detailed finishes. This is a little leaves a little bit left to be desired, um, but I do really like the idea of a a clipper or even a blow dryer tracking density, making adjustments. I know Dyson kind of shifted a little bit to that. Yeah. I think they're already kind of integrating stuff like that. Um, but this clippers, like. clippers would be kind of cool. Um, Everyone could do clipper cuts then. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, no, they wouldn't be able to do clipper cuts. Because <laughs> I know but their clipper would work Brian more efficiently to cut like, it um, shitty. You know. <laughs> yeah. I love a clipper cut. No, you don't. Yeah. You know? You love to do clipper cuts? Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. I think Brian does. I do sick oh. fades, bro. I didn't think you loved it, though. <laughs> sick fades. Hmm. Um, yeah. All of our fades are going to Brian. Yeah. If they call in. If they, if they can get in, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, so I don't understand scissors powered by nanotech uh, gives seamless details. That's just finishes. someone who doesn't know how good scissors actually yeah, are. Yeah, he just doesn't want to pay attention to that because his scissors are... He doesn't have nanotech scissors right now. We've had oh, because I don't. <laughs> you're like all of a sudden you're like, and eh, no, I don't really get the scissors, wait, but uh, you know, wait, we've these, got a sale right now, Black Friday. Wait, these aren't nanotech. <laughs> how do I? You're make, like reading you, about all of it. Matt, just for change the, the name one. to nanotech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are nanotech scissors yeah. for Black Friday. You know, on the, sale. The beauty of owning your own company is we can do that right now and just call them <laughs> FSE. Precision nanotech pro Robotic scissors. pro scissors. Yeah. yeah. That change based on the density. Yeah. You just close your fingers harder. From now on, you're going to see nanotech on the inside of this. It's going to get the matrix you print on it. <laughs> I said it does. It uh, it's calculates like, for density. You just close your hands harder. Yeah. <laughs> one, red, one red blade and one blue. <laughs> so do you oh, all right. That's going to happen. Put that in my notes. Blowing uh, up this weekend. Sorry, yeah. guys. God. No sleep for Christina. Coming <laughs> coming for Christmas. <laughs> Nanotech scissors. Um virtual With reality control. <laughs> <laughs> virtual reality VR lounges. Now, mm. this actually got my brain going a little bit. Can you just put yours in the lounge? That's a, so <laughs> if it wouldn't get disgusting and hair color all over it, the idea of being able to sit in a salon and go to another planet and watch a show like watch something or surf some the web or or whatever you know go on a safari while your hair color is processing like that's actually yeah kind of cool but somebody needs to invent something that's a little less it is hard to sit with those on for over 10 minutes mm. like they get heavy it starts to like shouldn't they just go on while you're doing somebody's hair why does it have to be in the lobby well because then it gets in the way mm, they should come out unless it's like they should just come out with ones that just... You just put your face in like when you go to the eye suction. doctor? Yeah. Like if yeah, someone's yeah, leaned yeah. over and I'm putting their hair color on while they're like this? Like the eye doctor? <laughs> you're just like... <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think that would be kind of cool, yeah. Like relaxing at the beach, watching your favorite show, playing a game, like sitting in the chair doing that is cool. You can't One do a haircut. One of the reasons that would be so good, I was just having this conversation last week and I bet you agree with me. I was talking um, just about like the old days of waiting tables and how the best tippers were the smokers because they always had something to do when you weren't servicing them. So they were more patient. So they were happier <laughs> than people just sitting there waiting. That is true. There so was a lot more patience when people smoked more. Well, that's what I'm saying. So <laughs> if you give them something to do in that half hour that they're waiting, it tends to make people yeah. more patient, less antsy watching the clock and then therefore a more enjoyable experience. Well, I guess we all need to go buy some cigarettes. And put them in the and lounge. calm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not promoting that at, at all. Man, I do remember going to the barber like with my dad back in the day when I was a kid. And the barber? Just, yeah, at, in our town. Where? I was little. You On Main Street. What do you mean, where? There's a post office? There's only office? one street with businesses. There's a post office and a bar. Two and bars. there used to be a barbershop. And oh. then he passed away. Aww. So, But he did it forever. He's a Redskins fan. Commanders fan? Well, Racist. now Commanders, but back then it was... And they literally... Oh, really? You're going to you gonna mansplain that to me? <laughs> no. Mansplaining it. 
I don't care what the football team is called. I'm just I want them to so be the called what they want to be called. Let's go. So the barber's <laughs> not there anymore. It's chased out of town for racist um, reasons. Anyways, smoked so many cigarettes. <laughs> Everyone did. My dad did. The barber did. Yeah. Everybody. I mean, the whole place was full of smoke. <laughs> I remember that ashtray. You remember those old barber shop ashtrays, like the silver ones. I didn't really. Up? I didn't See, go I to barber like shops often. <laughs> like that amber glass yeah. square yep. ashtray. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember those in like people's houses when I was little. They had it at the travel agent that my grandmother and I would go hang out at. I feel like Aunt Helen. Yeah, they were everywhere. Yeah. I think Uncle Ed smoked for some reason. I don't know why I'm thinking of Aunt Helen. That anyone way. named Aunt Helen smokes. No, she did not. Her husband. No, she I did. You didn't did. know. <laughs> if if a sister was going to, it would be my Aunt Helen. Probably. Talk about going from a virtual reality experience to just <laughs> smoking, smoking <laughs> in the lobby. <laughs> um, so I still think cool idea. I don't know how we get virtual headsets on people with color on or people that are getting a haircut. Doesn't. Um, doesn't really translate well, but if we can figure it out, I think it would be kind of cool for people to escape and go to a, a start beach with a TV or relax. A TV <laughs> with, yeah. with a beach playing on it. Yeah, there right. Go, go look at that. Yeah, you could put like projectors behind them, and then I can project onto the mirror in front of them. That was the other thing, though. Like we did do, like we tried to do an iPad, hand people an iPad back in the day, and like they just want they're just on their phone. Yeah, at right now. Yeah, but, but I think if if you. It, if you have it already on the mirror, though, I think that's a little easier than, like, having to look at their own iPad. Like, I think if you give them, like, little AirPods and then a category of, like, movies, yeah, kind of like an airplane. I mean, that could go into the AI mirror. Yeah. The mirror could basically yeah. be a, a window through. Have you have you guys seen that, Um, the guy's man cave that it's like a, a post on? No, but Matt. It, uh, right. That's <laughs> not in our algorithm. No. So, listen. <laughs> might be in cars because it's a football... I nope. showed you. Remember the football, uh, the guy's like man cave football theme. It was like, I don't know if it was the Packers or what it was, but the door to go out looked like you were walking into the stadium. Oh, that's cool. Like it was an image. Oh, yeah. That was so really cool. It literally looked yeah. like you were in like a private suite at the stadium and you oh, could walk cool. down because it was just like a really cool image and it looked like it, it opened up to the stadium. Nice. Or so what I'm saying is the mirror could look like it's a window to the beach or to whatever. It would be kind of neat. If yeah. Turn it would be so expensive, though. Um, I think Carly's idea is good. Just do like on an airplane. They can pick what they want. Watch that for a while. Yeah. yeah. I just don't know if they would. Do you think they would? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I, I have Some people, people in would. my chair for a really long time, so like I think they would, but I mean, the people who are in and out, probably not, but yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, so we need to get mirrors that have a screen in them. Is that what we're saying? Let's just command strip an iPad to each mirror for now. <laughs> I don't love command stripping things. Oh, I love oh, it. Don't come to my place. <laughs> yeah, everything in my house is held together with everything. command strips. Make my bed with I command haven't. strips. <laughs> Sometimes they don't work, though. But when they do, they do. They don't come off. Yeah. And then they, you know, yeah, but then the that's great. Off. I've never had that experience. It pulling the wall off? I've had to pull the paint off. Yeah, just the paint, not the... Not the drywall? But not the Velcro ones. The Velcro ones don't do that. It's just the one... That's what I love about like Carly. When she loves wall. something, she loves something. Yeah. And when I she hates man. Dyson, she hates Dyson. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't really hate Dyson, though. She uses it and likes it. Because so I that's have why no we other... Can't... But she doesn't really no, like it. No, we have I other don't... blow dryers. Yeah, but... She can't hate Dyson. She doesn't hate it because she uses it. What when other she blow hates dryers? It. I'll use it, whatever blow dryers. I think you just think it's crazy that the value probably, but I don't think oh, yeah, they're not worth it. They're not worth do, what they yeah, are. Yeah, maybe that. At all. Because I don't think she hates it. No, I don't. I, I just, I I've hate the fact that about the, it shutting off and having to clean the thing <laughs> all the time. <laughs> like Cars are like that too, though. If you don't get the oil change, it just kind of stops working. Yeah, but like not in the middle of my, like <laughs> not in the middle of my drive usually. Like it'll give me a warning and then I have to take it to the shop. Not like, oh, I'm going to stop working at the most inconvenient time when I'm like 15 minutes behind. How often does that, drive. how often not, does it shut off? Not anymore since Brian taught me about the cleaning it, cleaning, like how to, how to 
actually clean it because I've cleaned it, but then it yeah, doesn't actually the... work. Okay. He uses enough. clarifying shampoo, and then yeah, Brian oh. told me about the shampoo three smarty pants, and I was like, oh, it was Dyson's that suggestion. Actually works. Really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, clean the filter, dude. Like you didn't need to say that. We were, oh. <laughs> you could have rolled with it. <laughs> well, I don't want them coming after me. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I They're, like them too, right. and I love their st- their tools. I like your fans. Oh, I love their fans. Don't love their vacuum and their humidifiers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love our fans. Okay, Which so to fans? Fi- <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so to finalize this uh, post that we made an entire episode about, uh, in the near future, our advancements in technology are going to be insane. But one thing's for sure: no robot. Or AI can replace the human touch of a barber. Mm. I hate the way you just read yeah, that. Yeah, that felt sexy. Weird. <laughs> it felt weird. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. I know. Um, so, yeah. Wish Hayden was here. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. He, he would you die know the point in your life? at you. <laughs> it happened with Carly, too. Like, I say this to Christina sometimes. Like, we were cool to Carly. Like, when we... When I first met Christina, like, Carly's okay. still, we were cool. Kind of. <laughs> we're pretty cool. She just faked it. And apparently, just we're just all good actresses. You know what? I don't care if she faked it or not. You felt good. It cool. felt good. There yeah. You go. And then something shifted with Carly <laughs> for a little while. And then it was, you were, we were not. It was nope, evident. Nope. Everyone had kids cool. and dogs <laughs> and <laughs> sports. And no one asked Carly to hang out anymore. So. No, no, we don't mean prior. like that. We, we mean like we, we think you looked out. at us like we were cool. Yeah. And then all of a I'm sudden like we were like 16. Cool. I, mean, I don't think that ever stopped Aww. for you guys. Aww. Maybe my parents, but not for, never for you guys. Man, but I wish I would have known that. It's been years. If you want to talk now. <laughs> um, and then Hayden. I mean, we've been cool to Hayden for a long time. I think we're still kind of cool to Hayden, but mm, nah. it's... I mean, we are, but we aren't. It's so funny. He laughs. When your kid at starts telling you that he you are. He laughs at Matt. He looks at you. No, it's hilarious. That's yeah. normal. What I think is that I'm not cool to Hayden or Ireland, and that makes me well, like. Well, now you're going through it. Yeah, I know, but I'm I'm still 28. Like that's what, <laughs> what do you mean? That's how old we were. <laughs> oh, I yeah. had Hayden. I was 28 when I had Hayden. So when I you're was not 28, you were Hayden's age. I know, but like, but that's what I mean. Like, you guys had kids. And I love Hayden and Alan, obviously. But <laughs> oh, like, so because you don't like, have kids, you're still I cool. was the only child for 12 years. <laughs> Wait, I think, I think Hayden thinks you're cool. For yeah, sure. Yeah. I, really? I, I really so. do think yeah, so. Yeah. God, yeah. When I was, you just made me think, when I was in junior high, the most fun friend to hang out with, my friend Justin, he was an only child. And in seventh grade, his mother became obsessed with the notion that he was going to stop thinking she was cool and stop liking her. So she spoiled the hell out of him. So whenever, like, that was the fun house to go to because she would do anything to make sure he still liked her. So we're getting pizza. We're watching Pulp Fiction when we're way too young. (laughs) Like, we got to do everything so that his mom still thought we were cool. Oh, wow. I'm not that mom. Yeah, Yeah. You can think I'm uncool. (laughs) Yeah. No Pulp Fiction for you. Nope. Nope. Um. All right. Oh, you got some outro music. Fun episode, man. Mm. Fun episode. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's the cue to wrap it up. All right. <laughs> it's 11. <laughs> it's 11. Can't back this day up. Can't back this day up. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Follow Brian Hair. Hairstyle. Carly. Hair by Carly C. Christina. Um, I'm here. here. Just follow follow Free <laughs> Salon Education. Follow me over here. Uh, and go shop. Uh, Black Friday sale going on now, Minerva Beauty and at freesaloneducation.com. 50% off at Free Salon Education, up to 70% off at Minerva Beauty. Uh, go check it out. It'll be all uh, through the holiday. So um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. See ya.